I don't know. Then I just had to wing it. I had no idea what was going on the whole time. In this video today, I'm gonna to share with you my wife's first experience racing Zwift, just like how I raced Zwift for the first time last week. The kids are on the trampoline. We put that up today, gotta to tell you, it was bloody hard work. Daddy! You can get it right. Daddy! What's up? Daddy! You, you, you seem all right. I didn't actually put it up, I'm not a handyman. You can get it doing nothing at all. But uh, what did I use? Airtasker, we used Airtasker, got someone around, stayed our distance, put it up, and now the kids are on the trampoline for the first time in ages, absolutely loving it. So I've done two races since my first Swift race. I'm still playing around with the configurations. The last two races that I've done, I've been dropped on the hills both times. So either I don't have the settings right, or probably I'm just not good at hills on Zwift. It certainly doesn't feel like hills out in the road. So, what we're gonna do in this video is, it was hard for me to actually film my wife while she was doing the race because she got quite agitated. So as you would have seen in previous videos, when the agitation levels are high, I have now decided moving forward to exit the room, but I do have the screen record, and I thought we'd do a little podcast discussion while we watch the screen record, so let's get into it. Actually, before we get into it, I have been homeschooling the kids. As mentioned in the previous video, here's a little bit more footage of that. I'm teaching them very, very critically important things. Cecil Mega Drive. Not here. <laughs> Where is Cecil Mega Drive? I don't know. Who is Cecil Mega Drive? <laughs> so it's just the two of you here today? Yes. Okay. So today, we are learning the fundamentals. The first question. What's your weird name? <laughs> Cam Nichols. Oh, I've called you Mr. Nichols. <laughs> so what is the best activity on earth? Running, cycling, or swimming? Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, Ruby put her hand up first. Um, bike riding. Bike riding? Holly? That's easy, swimming. Oh, get out. <laughs> get out of this room. You're banished for a full five seconds. <laughs> the second, next very important question. What is the lightest frame material for bike riding? Steel, aluminium, or carbon fiber? Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide. So Alice, your first Swift race today. Yes. Congratulations on getting through it. Thank you. Now we just watched the whole thing again and spoke in front of it and the recording didn't record properly. So we're now just speaking to it without watching it, but watching it again and reliving the experience and thinking about it, tell me about it. Well, we had I had no warm up. No we warm couldn't up. get it set Why? up. Uh, we were struggling to get it set up in time. We had a guy putting up the kids' spring free trampoline finally out the back. We couldn't get the Bluetooth to hook up to the for about fifteen minutes. That's yeah. the worst I have ever experienced. It was it. a lot of fun. That's right. The kids are in the background here. <laughs> <laughs> they will be for four more months. And then I had about five minutes to explain to you how Zwift works. Yeah. <laughs> but you're explaining the worst things, things that I had like made no relevance to my ride at all whatsoever. Peddling. Yeah, at the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so Peddling. I will tell you the things I didn't understand were going to happen was trying to switch off my physical response to seeing that I was on a road, so or virtually being on a road. So not 
moving the handlebars, I didn't actually know that the difficulty of the bike, like the the what would you call that even the trainer yeah the kicker that the it was going to get harder as, going up hills no that the course yeah changed the way the yeah any kicker incline worked. there'll be more pressure on the didn't crank. know that yes um and also i had asked you previously whether like what would be going on do i need to listen to it and you were like yes you're going to be just doing swift because and i should have maybe given you more information on why i was asking because if i want to really push myself and I put loud heavy music in my ears and so I didn't realize until halfway through that I could actually play my music and not have to focus on people talking to me because there wasn't so I put Rage Against the Machine on halfway through but just through my phone so it was terrible yes it was very rushed look it was an incredible communication was poor between both of us (laughs) (laughs) and you you, you ended up doing a a D-grade open race, which is really a, a men's race because we had you locked in for a, a women's race at three. And given the trainer issues and the, the spring free trampoline man needing my assistance all of a sudden, he had the whole day, but right before setting you up, he needed it right then and there. We ran out of time. So tell me, you started off at about 300 watts, I think, really pushing hard. <laughs> I told you you needed to start hard and you started really hard. Yep. Went off with the lead group. And yep. then what happened? Uh, I don't know. Then I just had to wing it. I had no idea what was going on the whole time. So I was just pushing as hard as I could. It was a nine mile race or 8.8 mile race. So I just figured that it didn't seem like too much of a distance. So I'll just keep pushing the whole way. Yeah, we didn't even get the metric system right. I have no idea what was yeah. going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was good because you ride Saturday mornings. That's your sac- That's your morning that's kind of sacrilege. And I train like I'm a newbie to hacking triathlon training and all my triathlon friends ride their long rides on a Saturday morning too so for me uh the only bike training I've ever really done is solo so it's either on the trainer inside or solo rides I've never ridden in a group before ever yes so how did you find the draft yeah how how did you find well you've ridden behind me before and I doubt you would you're not a group yeah but you would feel the drafting effect yes did you notice a drafting effect on Zwift I didn't know because everything was new so there was Maybe. Who, look, who knows? Yes. And you found going up hills, I... I will notice it next time, I'm sure. Um, up hills was actually good. You, if you found the resistance on the trainer to be good, you found yourself yep. getting up hills okay, perhaps even a little bit better than how you would find them outdoors, which is the complete opposite to how I feel. That I find it easier to say go up hills on a, like, Gindy Drive, our local hill climb, 4% gradient, rolling mm. up there, tapping it down a gear. Whereas on Zwift, I actually really struggle with the um i feel like i'm a bit flimsy or flighty or i go into lower gear maybe when i'm going up hills outside yes okay. but i felt like it was a lot smoother and i was able to have like smoother pedaling and stronger pedaling when i was going up hills in swift yeah okay and tell me about the so at the end you were in a group of about five to six other zwifters Mm. Zwifters. Zwifters. There must be a name for Zwifters. What were you thinking at that point in time? What was your goal? Did you have a goal or are you just trying to get to the end? Uh, Did you want to beat them all? You went off the front for a little bit at the very end. That was just a- an accident. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I ended up being with A group towards the last third of the race. And so I was trying to stay with them. And we had that's when the up and down hills were, which I enjoyed. Um and I, because I didn't know how many kilometres go into a mile, I was never quite sure how long I actually had to go. So I didn't know how hard to keep going, but I just kept thinking to myself that I would only have a few minutes to go and so I couldn't stop now. Yes. Um, and I think that's probably the power of having that virtual world versus being on the trainer by yourself with just your, your training program written in or something like that. Um, and so I realised just based on what you said that they would probably – sprint to the finish but i didn't know when or um how fast you got to go early in zwift i still don't understand what early going early means so if anyone can let us know below that would be that would be great but the guy that so the guy that came first in d grade had Mm. obviously gone off with another group a c or d or maybe even an a grade group but the guy who came second, the dirty dog, he just was sitting no, behind him. Why would you call him a dirty dog? Well, he just did, beat it, me legitimately. I, I know, oh, no. You, you actually, you, well, maybe you can he be He beat me Zwift, by a tiny the, the, way, the way it looks 
on replay, he's just drafting you right until oh, the very end and then he comes around and he gets you. That's not probably how he intended it to be. That's just what the gaming oh, software it's does. Like reality TV where the yeah, producers so I'm, I'm, make I a know, devil out of someone. He's not a dirty someone. dog, but it kind of looked like a dirty dog move had, based on the listen, replay. I wonder if that was his first Zwift. I'm sure it wasn't. I know that if I had have done a Zwift before, I would have absolutely beat him. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good confidence. Think about it though. Yes. No, I'm thinking about it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't until I saw the results and it was all dudes and I came third that I was like, all right, so this could be addictive for me. Yes. And 204 watt average or something like that for 14 minutes. Which is, I'm surprised by that too. Very impressed. So are you going to do Zwift again? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What's the main reason? Uh, I think commitment. I think once you start a race for me, my personality means that once I'm in something, I'll, I'll do it till the end. Yep. Um, so I would probably choose longer events and see how I could go in that because that would be better training for me. So particularly now at the moment, I've got no races on the calendar. They've all been canceled. So doing super fast time trials like this is not probably my best use of building base at the moment. Um, although it's fun. Um, I I would do something like this on a day that I was doing like a run or a swim as well, but I'd probably prefer to do some longer rides and see how I go with that. Um, yeah, I'd like to set it up for early in the morning and do some early morning ones. Okay, cool. Well, thanks, Alice. Appreciate you taking us through your first Swift no race. Worries, Catch everyone later.